Hi, I'm here today to explain our new parking system that we have in Lots 1, Lot 2, and on Veterans Memorial. We've had it on Veterans Memorial now for over a year, and we have not had many problems at all. So we placed it in these two lots, Lot 1 and 2, to make it more accommodating for the parkers. We have two machines like this in each of the lots. Every parking space is labeled with four digits. For instance, I am now parked at spot 1053. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you how to work that, this machine. And it's very simple. It's a solar machine, so there's no electric. It's solar and battery operated. It takes, it takes all types of coins, um, all types of American uh, coins, uh, nickels, dimes, um, and quarters. I should, I should correct myself, it doesn't take pennies. Um, and it also takes do singles, dollar bills. As soon as you get up to the machine, you take notice of the spot that you're parked in. For instance, I'm parked in 1053. I go ahead and proceed to the machine, and the instructions are right on top here. Number one, Enter your space number. I'm in space 1053. You press the numbers 1053. It says enter your coins. I'm going to pay for one hour now, which is a quarter an hour. You put it inside your payment, and then it says press green button. You press the green button, and then it will proceed to give you a ticket which is your receipt. You slide up the little, little bar up here and you get your receipt. The receipt you take with you. You don't have to put it back in your window. The receipt will tell you the time that you paid for, the date, the parking space that you're in, and welcomes you to the borough of Somerville. I want to tell you a little more about the machine. The machine is solar powered, and like I mentioned, there are two in the lot. So for instance, if there's a problem with this machine, Something simple, such as maybe a dollar bill gets stuck or someone puts something in that, that's crumbled and it, and, and, it, and it causes the machine to go in default, it'll read right on the LCD panel here to proceed to the other machine in the lot. You would, so hence you would go to the other machine, use your same parking space number that you're in, or you can move to a different spot number and go ahead and pay at that spot number. This machine, the one that's in this lot, the one that's in the other lots and Veterans Memorial are all connected by modem. The modem then reads it, it takes information and brings it to Borough Hall so we know when there's a problem with the machine, whether the machine, whether the coin bin's getting too full, whether the currency bin's getting too full, whether there's a problem with the solar. And in most cases there will not be because like I said, it's solar powered with a battery. So what the solar does is, is it keeps the battery fresh. If for some reason we have many, many days of snow or cold weather where we don't see the sun, we have the ability to charge that battery and we'll get noticed at Borough Hall. Since all the, all the machines are connected by modem, one, one excellent feature that we have here that you didn't have with meters is that if you happen to be parking in this lot and you realize you're going to pay for two hours and you're going to go have dinner or I should say maybe lunch or dinner uh, with friends here in Somerville and before you know it time has elapsed you could run to another pay machine in this town whether it be on Veterans Memorial whether it be in a lot that you parked or the other lot that we have it in and you could put your number in and put money in to pay for your spot even though it's at a different lot so that's an excellent feature you don't have to run back to the lot that you were in in the past you had to run back to the meter that you parked at where this feature allows you to go back to the closest machine that you're at at that time what, what, what one of the great features about this machine is that while it takes a quarter for an hour, it's 25 cents an hour, if you look at the machine, the machine is Monday through Friday from 9 to 5. And we know that some people park here before 9 o'clock. <clears throat> so all they have to do is, if they, for instance, they come here and they park at 7 o'clock in the morning, if they put a quarter in, that should pay for an hour. So what will happen is you'll get your quarter escrowed up until 9 o'clock. So quick example is I'm parked in spot 1053, 1053, and I pull here at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I put my space in 1053 at 7 o'clock in the morning, and I put my quarter in at 7 o'clock in the morning, I will get a receipt that reads from 9 to 10. So I didn't waste my quarter. I actually got a full hour's worth of time that you had to pay for. One important thing to remember, 
While the machine takes nickels, dimes, and quarters, and dollars, it does not give change. Parking in Somerville is only a quarter an hour during the time specified here from 9 to 5. The machines themselves do not give change. A dollar would cover four hours of parking. So please make sure you have your change on you and you have, you have singles available to you to, to put into the machine. One other feature on this machine is very interesting. We have a feature that allows us to change the language on the LCD screen to Spanish. So what would happen was if you were Spanish speaking and, and you're able to read Spanish, you can, you can change the LCD screen to read in Spanish. So it would tell you to enter your space number in Spanish, it would tell you to insert your bills in Spanish, and it would give you a receipt so you have it and you have it with you. And again, you would take that receipt with you, you do not leave, need to leave it in your car. I, I want to talk about this bar here a little. This is where you put your currency and this would be where the, where the dollar bill would go. So the way it would happen was first you would put your space number in, then you would put your dollar bill in and a dollar would cover four hours. And then, then you would then press the uh, green button which would, be, which would obviously take your money and give you a receipt for that time. And also one in, and his rejected coins right here. So what happens is, if you put in currency that, that's not American currency, it should actually come out here. Would it recognize that that coin is not an acceptable coin in the machine? But one of the most important features I need to tell you about is please make sure you put your space number in first. And I want to run through this one more time. Again, I'm in spot 1053. I would put space 1053 in. I would then insert my coin. See, it says step number two. You insert your coin. It now reads 25 cents is paid. It then says press green button. So you then press your green button, step number three. And step number four will be your ticket. It will print out in one second and I'll show you exactly what happens. You get your ticket now, which serves as your receipt. So when we're able to gather communication from this machine, we know your space has been paid. If you fail to put your number in first and you put money in first, it'll reject your coin. You need to take that coin back out of there. Put your number in first, step one. It clearly reads step one. Put your number in first and then put the coin in, which is step two. Step three is press the green button. Step four, take your receipt. So hopefully that gives you an explanation of how these machines work. Thank you and again welcome to Somerville and enjoy your stay.